Welcome to tonight's prayer. God bless you. God bless you. I hope you had a wonderful and productive day today. Welcome again. Um, my name is Faith and this is Joy in Zoe Intercessory Prayer Ministries. We meet here every Monday to Friday from 9 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. to stand in the gap and intercede for the unreached and the unsaved across the nations. You are welcome again to join us in praying for today's people group. All right, so before we begin our prayers, let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's lift up tonight's people group to the hands of God and let's pray for everyone that will be joining us in tonight's prayer in Jesus name. Amen. We pray in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, for who you are. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for the privilege to be here tonight to pray for the unreached and the unsaved across the nation. We thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for the shedding of the blood of Christ for our sins. We thank you, Lord, for salvation. We thank you, Lord, for redemption in Christ, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we commit to Tonight's people group to your hands to go as we join our faith tonight to pray for those people. We ask the Lord that through your word, by your spirit, and through our prayers, Lord, let the light of God, the light of the true gospel shine, oh God, in their community, reaching their hearts, oh God, resulting in the salvation of the souls of those people, um, resulting, oh God, in their coming to Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord. We ask that by your spirit, Lord, empower us to pray your will tonight. And above all, Lord, let your kingdom come and let your will be done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. All right. So for everyone joining us for the first time, you are welcome. We are honored to have you tonight. So you might be wondering who are these unreached people and why we're here. Why are we praying for them? Now, the unreached people... These are people who do not have access to the gospel, who do not have access to gospel materials. They don't know Jesus or anything about Christ. They have not heard of him and they don't know the work that he has done for mankind. They don't know that he has died for our salvation, for our redemption. Now, these people, they live together in the same community. They practice the same religion. They, they, they speak the same language but they, they don't have um, churches or Christians among them. Now, even if there are Christians among them, the Christians they have, they are not more than 2%. They are not that many, which is not enough to evangelize the whole of their community. So these people will always need outside help. They need outside help to, you know, come join the few Christians, if any, among them to... Um, spread the good news about Christ, the gospel of Jesus to the, the, the whole of their community or to bring the gospel to them for the first time. So our prayer for those people is that they will receive the gospel of Jesus. They will believe it in their heart. They will accept Christ as the Lord and Savior. And this is why we are praying because we cannot reach these people physically. We cannot reach them. So we are reaching them from here to our prayers. I hope this excites you and you were glad to be here. Now for every information we bring to you about those people, we get from the Joshua Project platform. You can find them on joshuaprojects.net. Now, um, this information will help you know how you can be a part of this great commission, how you can contribute to your part in moving this mission forward. One way you can do this is by, you know, adopting an unreached people group, just like we do here. We pray for a particular group every day from Monday to Friday. You can adopt a particular people group and dedicate time to pray for them daily. You can pray personally. You can pray with a group of people, your friends or your pastor, whichever way you want. You can also um, support the the missionaries with your finances you can support the missionaries the ones who are taking the gospel and the gospel materials to those people reaching out to them across the nations you can support this mission with your finances and know that as you are doing this 
you are doing the will of the Father, you are fulfilling scripture because it is not the will of God that any should perish but that all should come to repentance and be saved. And the word of the Lord has been prophesied to, you know, cover the earth just as the waters cover the sea. So the word of the Lord is getting to the ends of the earth and you should be a part of this. All right, God bless you. Back to tonight's people group. So today we'll be praying for the Odene Jula in Côte d'Ivoire. All right. So these people, the Ojene Jula or in Côte d'Ivoire, these people have a population of 169,000 and a world population of 169,000. The Ojene Jula people, they speak the Wojenaka language, the Wojenaka language, and their primary religion is Islam. Their primary religion is Islam. They have 0.0% Christian adherent and 0.0% evangelical. They, okay, there is need for um, the translation of the Bible in the Wojenaka language. There are no Bible translation in their language. So, they have no access to all like audio New Testament. They have no access to the Jesus film. They have no access to audio recordings. This is to say, there are no gospel resources available in the Wojenaka language. So these people cannot even have access to the gospel in their own language. And their status is still unreached. Their status is still unreached. Now the Jola people or the Yula people, the Du la people they are skilled craftsmen and merchants the jula people are in subgroups one of which is the odena odene the name of a town in northwestern Côte d'Ivoire with its own airports this has long been a trading center so the ministry obstacle to the Odene Jula people, the ministry obstacle is that these people have put their faith in the spirit world and the mercy of Allah instead of the astonishing, instead of the atoning blood of Christ. They have put their faith in Allah instead of the atoning blood of Jesus Christ. So they need someone to show them the way to the cross so that they can experience God's forgiveness. The outreach idea on how we can reach these people is that the Jula people are fiercely loyal to their clans. A movement to Christ might need to happen at the clan level. So they maintain their cultural history through the oral traditions of dance storytelling, which are probably best for presenting the gospel as well. So in hierarchical society, people cannot make important spiritual decisions without the approval of their leaders. So anyone who wants to reach them for Christ must go through their existing leaders. Christian international businessmen may be bridges of blessing into those people, into those people group. So we are going to pray. For this Christian um, international businessman, that God will raise Christian international businessmen who with and God will put his zeal for these people in their hearts. That as they go to this people group, because it is said that their town has been a trading center for years. So they can go to those people through business through business deals and use it as a means to teach them, to tell them about Christ, to bring the good news, the gospel of Jesus to this people group, to their leaders, to the influential people of their community, thereby creating a means for the entrance of the gospel, opening their doors to the gospel of Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen.
So we are going to pray in the name of Jesus for those people group, Masoka Paliba Kafosekete, that God will make this outreach I get fruitful in this time. La Sosa Palia Handa, that God will raise zealous Christian international businessmen who will stand as a bridge of blessing into those people group, who will stand as a bridge of blessing to bring the gospel of Christ to those people in the mighty name of Jesus. Masosa Taliba Baba Dosetelia Handa. Le canto si capa liba cazo se prende liaha, maso sente que he libaba, le pa canto se que he librende gede, mato si capa liaha, anda macoto si que libre gende liaha. Father, we pray, O oh God. For the ordained Jula people in Côte d'Ivoire, we pray, Lord, that you will raise a zealous Christian international businessmen, people who are filled with your word, who are filled with your spirit, who are filled with passion for souls, oh God, that they will take the gospel of Jesus to those people, even as they go to do business with them, Lord. They will bring the gospel of Christ to them, that as they make a business, a relationships with their leaders, with the influential among the Odenetula people. We pray, oh God, that it will be a means, oh God, for the entrance of the gospel into their community, into each of their clans. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, oh God, for open door of all trans, oh God, into the clan, into the the. the People group in the name of Jesus, Amen. Maso se ke li pan kanto se ke te wo pray Lord that you will touch the hearts of the leaders among those people group. You will reveal yourself to their leaders. You reveal yourself, oh God. Leto si ka pa kaliba to se te li handa to the influential among those people to the businessmen. Leto si ma to their leaders, oh God. Makoto si ka kalibra gedo si mahanda that as those believers come to them, Lord, with the good news about Christ, Lord, they will positively embrace it. They will positively engage with the gospel, Lord. Thereby opening the doors of their community, the doors of their class, the doors of their homes, Lord, to the gospel in the name of Jesus. They will receive it and they will in turn spread the good news about Christ to members of their communities and their families in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Masusa Taliba Baba, do Senkeke Ripa Kato Sekete, we pray that you will create avenues, oh God, you will create resources, gospel resources, Lord. In the in the, the language of those people group, in the Wojenaka language, that they, oh Lord, will be able to have access to your word in their own language, in their true their, their traditional dances, through storytelling. We we'll pray that you will raise oh God, people who will be creative in the in, in this in this uh, uh, idea, oh God, who will make God the gospel Lord, stories about Jesus dances about Jesus, the gospel music, songs about Christ in their language, oh God, that they will come to know you, they will come to know you, to learn about Christ, they will come to hear the good news about Jesus, oh, and your hearts, Lord, will receive it, they will be able to understand, to resonate with the, with the gospel, oh God, let those by the spirit of the Lord, they will receive it, oh God, they will believe it in their heart, and they will begin to turn to Christ, they will begin to embrace the salvation of of Jesus, you know, begin to embrace eternal life, they will begin to live, oh God, <clears throat> their old worship and begin to come to Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Where Father will pray, oh God, Masusa Takaliba Baba, Lebredo Si Papa Liba Kanto Sekeke, Lento Si Kampa Kapa Kaleko To Sekeke, Riba Kados Namantaya. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for those Christian international businessmen that you were sending to those people right now. We thank you for opening the hearts of their leaders, oh God, the hearts of the influential among them, Lord, to receive the goodness about Christ. We thank you because your spirit is walking in them right now. It's walking even through them. Oh, Masoka Kaliba Kadiosia, revealing Jesus to them, Lord, bringing their hearts, oh God, Opening their hearts, softening their hearts, oh God, preparing their hearts to receive the good news of Christ, oh God, that when they hear this word, they will believe it, they will receive it, they will believe it in the name of Jesus Christ, oh, they will be saved, they will open the doors of their communities, of their clans to the gospel of Jesus, Maso Seteliba, but they will become mediums, oh God, Lethosika, but vessels, oh God, through which the gospel will spread across their communities, across their clans, even into their families, their homes, individual lives. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making this outreach idea fruitful in this decade, in this time. Thank you, because through this idea, many from those people could will turn to Christ in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Our scripture for tonight is taken from the book of Psalms 91 and verse 1, and it says, Who will dwell in the shelter of the Most High? Of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Sorry, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I'll take that again. Psalm 91 and verse 1. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. With the scripture focus, we are going to pray. We are going to pray for many that many of those people group to. to will come to Christ and many from those people who will find rest in their relationship with the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we pray, O oh God, for many from those people go from today's people go. For the ordained Jula people in Côte d'Ivoire, we we'll pray that many from those people, Lord, Le Superpalia will find rest in their relationship with you. Will find rest in their relationship with you as they come to know you, Lord, as they embrace the gospel of Jesus, as a result receive the salvation, the eternal life of Christ, O God. Father, they will find rest in their relationship with you. They will find rest. They will find rest, O God, in their relationship with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord, for tonight's food group. Makoto Sekeke, thank you for the old Denejula people in Cote d'Ivoire. We thank you because many from those people, they are turning to Christ right now, and they are finding rest in their relationship with you. In the name of Jesus, they are finding rest in their understanding, in their experience of your love, O God, of your sacrifice on the cross for them. Masosa Palibadosia, and they are finding rest in their relationship with you in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Oh, Masusa Taliba Baba, oh, Sente Keke Riba Kanto Sekede, Masusa Takalibra Kado Sika Kakaka, Lepa Kanto Sika Palibra Hende Keria Handa. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' much less name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Next, we're going to pray. As far as we know, there are no followers of Christ among the ordained Jula people. So we are praying that this will change and many will become Christ's disciples in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord, committing the ordained Jula people to your hands again. Lord, you have remembered these this people this day. You have remembered them in the past. You are remembering them again now. We we'll pray, oh God, that this people group, oh Lord, that their that, 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 that status, oh Lord, will change beginning from tonight, Lord, cause the status of those people to change, uh, cause many from those people go to become disciples of Christ, to become followers of Jesus. Oh, masete liba badus mahanda. Let many from those people go receive the gospel of Jesus and be saved uh, to the glory of your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, oh God, masu kapaliba dasia. They are starting status right now that states that there are no Christians among them. We pray, oh God, that that is changing right now. From tonight, oh God, there are receiving oh god angelic visitation by the spirit of blood they are receiving oh god divine visitation in the name of jesus christ that oh holy spirit of god reveal jesus to them father we pray for a revelation of the true christ to those people father let jesus be revealed to them let jesus be glorified in their hearts in their in their minds in their spirit lord let jesus be revealed let jesus be glorified to those people in the name of jesus visit each and every one of them lord through dreams through visions to god through your word through the media by all means lord reveal reveal yourself to them let them come to the knowledge and the truth of the, and the truth about christ and let them come let them receive those truth and be saved to God. Father, we thank you because many from those people group they are encountering you right now by the Spirit of the Lord. And many from those people, they are coming to Christ. They are coming to Jesus. Their status is changing. There are many disciples of Christ are arising. They are rising, oh God, from the ordained Jula people in Cote d'Ivoire. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Oh, my city, keke, li, baba, do, si, papa, li, brende, li, 
Makoso seke kelibre. That we engage right now. That the Lord of the Harvest, the Holy Spirit, to visit this people. Letho si papa libre de li pa kato seke te le pa susa tali brende li ahanda. Father, let every member of this people grow. Let them begin to encounter you right now. Oh, re susa papa li pa kato seke te. Let them come over to the knowledge of the truth about Christ through the gospel of Jesus by the Spirit of the Lord by all means, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you for many, O oh God, for this people. They are receiving Jesus as the Lord and Savior. They are turning to Christ. Their status has changed, O oh God. Oh, thank you for the multiplied followers of Christ among those people group. Thank you, Lord, for the multiplied followers of Christ among those people group in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Next, we're going to pray. We're praying for believers to go as his ambassador to the Odenejula people of Cote d'Ivoire. Lord, we ask that you raise believers who will go to those people as an ambassador for Christ in the name of Jesus, teaching them the ways of the Lord. Oh, Pato Sekeke Ribada, revealing the life of Christ, revealing the love of Jesus to those people, Lord. Masoka Palain, oh God, an example, Lord. Let to see Papa Kapa Libra de Gede, and teaching them the gospel of Jesus Christ, showing them the path of righteousness, showing them the path of truth, the way of light, oh God. Let to see Papa Libra de Gede, by the Spirit of the Lord, by the word of the Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, oh God, for believers leave us to go as ambassadors of Christ to go to the ordinary people of Cote d'Ivoire in the name of Jesus. Lord, raise, oh God, believers who will go as ambassadors of Christ, who will go as your ambassadors, who will represent you, oh God, among the ordinary people to the ordinary uh, ordaining Jula people who pray that you raise a believers ambassadors, oh God, who would represent you, O oh Lord, let to the ordaining Jula people in, of Côte d'Ivoire in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you because everyone you are sending to them shall be accepted. They will accept them, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. They will accept them, they will accept the gospel of Jesus that they have brought to them in the name of Jesus. They will receive this word all oh, in their heart and they will be saved in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Rasuka Palia Handakada. That these ambassadors will receive acceptance of God from those people and they will freely share the word of the Lord, teaching them the gospel of Jesus, showing them the path of righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Next, we're going to pray. We're going to pray for the Lord to give the gift of faith to many within this people group in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the release of the gift of faith among many or in this people group in the name of Jesus. All the Spirit of the Lord, we pray for the release of the Spirit of faith, uh, the gift of faith to many within this people group in the name of Jesus, that they will have a heart, O oh God, that is teachable, a heart, O oh God, that will receive, a heart, O oh God, that will believe in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, for the gift of faith for many within this people group in the name of Jesus that as your word come Lord let us see Papa Liba Katusikide let us calibre Ketusi Mahanda Leahanda only Kapakato Sikide they will receive it over and they will gladly receive it and believe in your word in the name of Jesus Amen Lord we pray oh God for the gift of of faith for many within this people group in the name of Jesus Christ. As a result, oh God, they will receive your word, they will believe it and be saved to the glory of your name. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the release of the gift of faith among this people group, to many among this people group in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Next, we're going to pray for spiritual awakening in their homes, villages, and even in their mosques. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for spiritual awakening 
in their homes, uh, in the Odenijula people of Cote d'Ivoire homes, in their homes, in their villages, and in their mosques. In the name of Jesus, let there be an outpouring of the Spirit of the Lord upon those people, O oh God, opening their hearts and their minds, O oh God. Let to see kapa 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 to the good news of Christ, to the gospel of Jesus. Uh, let to see papa pa li ba 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 ba. We'll pray for a spiritual awakening. Let them come, God, to know of their need for a Savior in the name of Jesus. And let them also come to know that there is no other who can save them except the Lord Jesus Christ. That, that there is no salvation anywhere except in Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Masu sata li ba ba ba. Let them come to the knowledge of those truths. That there is no salvation anywhere except in Christ Jesus Christ. Oh, le su sata li ba 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 ba. Le pukoto si kakakaka. Le pakanto si mahana. We pray for spiritual awakening in their homes, villages, in their mosques, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, a spiritual awakening that they will come to know, recognize their need for a savior, and they will recognize Jesus as that savior. Oh, and they will embrace him, they will accept him, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the realization, the truth of their need for a savior, they will know Jesus as the Lord and Savior. They will accept him and be saved, oh God, to the glory of your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Lord, we thank you, oh God, for many from those people who that you're saving right now. Many from those people that are turned into Christ, oh God, they are coming into the faith, oh God. Thank you, for Lord, because by your spirit, oh Lord, they are established as you as they are saved, they are established to go never to return to their old ways in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for saving them. Thank you for releasing them from whatsoever hold that, that, that is holding them or that held them, Lord, from receiving your word till now. Thank you for releasing them. Thank you for saving them. Thank you, Father, for establishing them in the faith and in your kingdom for life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for releasing them from every stronghold of the enemy, from every stronghold of religion, from every stronghold of, of their negative and, and past worship, oh God, that has hindered the salvation of your souls. Thank you for releasing them. Thank you for releasing them. Thank you for saving them. Oh, my souls are calibre. Thank you for saving them by your spirit and by your word. Thank you for saving them by the revelation of, of the true Christ to them, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. And thank you, Father, for establishing them in the faith and in your kingdom for life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, we thank you for every soul that have been ordained unto salvation, that have been marked, O oh God, to be saved, O oh God, for your, for your very good work. We we'll pray, O oh God, Marco, to see Satalia Handa, that your word will get to them speedily. They will receive the gospel of Jesus and they will be saved. They will begin to live out your purposes, your plans for their lives, O oh God. They will not miss out over oh all your assignments for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you for the missionaries, for the evangelists, the food soldiers, the pastors, everyone on the go for Christ, taking the gospel of Jesus, preaching your word, oh God, the truth about Christ on your altars and across the nations of the earth, turning many to righteousness in truth, O oh God, and in, and, and in righteousness. Father, we pray, O oh God, for the aspiring of the Spirit of the Lord upon them, our fresh, O oh God, the fresh aspiring of the Spirit of the Lord upon them. We pray for the release of the Spirit of boldness upon them to continue to speak the truth of the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray, O oh God, that the people to whom they minister, they shall be accepted by them, they will accept them, and they will accept the gospel of Jesus in Jesus' name. We pray that the word that the preacher Lord will have a free course and be glorified in every heart of the Spirit to Lord, resulting in the salvation of many across the nations to the glory of your name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the youth and the children of this generation that you are drawing to yourself, O oh God, that you are cutting off the hands of the enemy from your lives and destiny, O oh God. You are causing them to find you, to know you for themselves, O oh Lord. Lord, 
that they will know you for themselves and they will serve you in righteousness and in truth, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. They will live your purposes for their life, the life of Christ, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Through those ones, oh God, your path as well shall be done on the earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we thank you for every member of Joins with Assess Ministries. Thank you for the grace, oh God, to keep keeping the watch for the, 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 the strength to go. We pray, let me release that fresh, you go. None shall be tired, none shall be weary. We shall keep keeping the word, standing the God, praying for the orange and the one sin across the nations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we give you praise. Thank you for everyone that shall come in contact with this prayer material to go and shall be convicted and converted by the Spirit of the Lord to the glory of your name. They shall be saved and established in your kingdom for life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give we praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks with Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' much less name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, family. Thank you. Thank you for joining us in our prayers tonight. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow, Friday, and pray with the prayers on the platform because we will not be live on Friday. So, Tune in, pray with the prayers on the platform, and as you do so, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. All our YouTube viewers, please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you can, and the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful night. Shalom, shalom.